does matter. Have you ever played Russian Roulette? No. No, that is the correct answer. But today is your lucky day. We are about to play Russian Roulette. Ooh, ah, everybody's excited. What we're going to do, don't worry, I have four very clean, not used at all, toothbrushes. Don't worry, I've only used each of them three times on my dog. We're going to take each toothbrush. I'm going to turn my back, okay? And you, my friend, are going to take one of these lovely, very clean, sterile toothbrushes, and you're going to place it in your mouth and get it nice and slobbered, just like my dog did before you. Then, what you're going to do is I'm going to hand you one of these caps. I'm going to hand you one of these caps, and you're going to take the... I'm going to show you, because people don't want to do this. You take the toothbrush, and you stick it, and you close it just like that, okay? That's how it works. So I'm going to turn my back, you're going to place one of them in your mouth. I'm going to hand you a cap, and then we're going to repeat that with all of them. So all of them are capped. You're not going to put all of them in your mouth, only the one. Don't want that to happen again. Okay. So, we good. You're going to pick one. I'm going to hand you a cap. Cool? Okay, I'm going to turn my back. You're going to select one of those toothbrushes. You've selected a toothbrush. Now place it inside of your mouth. Yes, just like my dog did. Okay, now I'm gonna hand you the cap. Take that cap, place that on that deliciously slobbery toothbrush, and then just set it on the table. All right, now you're gonna pick another toothbrush. Don't put that one in your mouth, just the one. You're gonna take this cap, you're gonna put it on a nice clean toothbrush. Set it on the table. Now you're gonna do another one. Alrighty, and then we're gonna go with the last one. Alright, and then once you have all of them on the table, give them a little mix so I can't really tell which one you used. Not the caps, just move the toothbrushes. Alright, we good? Yes. Are you... He didn't use all the toothbrushes, right? Okay, good. Now this is where the fun begins. You've taken one of these toothbrushes and you have placed it inside your, I assume you brushed your teeth this morning, right? Yes. Yeah, yes. Okay. This is the easiest one. You didn't move that one, right? Oh, great. This would be a different trick if you did. Okay. The hardest part, the 50-50 shot. Which toothbrush did he use? I know all of you are on the edge of your seats. You're in thrill at what I'm doing. And all of you have come here just for me today. And that's amazing, thank you. I accept tips. <clears throat> this is the hard part, the 50-50 shot. Is it the pink, is it the green? All of you know, but I don't. Is that one right? <laughs> this is the one you put. There we go. Give him a big round of applause. And you get to keep the toothbrush. Yay! Thank you, buddy. Well, he can have a bigger round of applause than that. Give him a big round of applause. Yeah, he played Russian roulette for the guy that sleeps in a van. <clears throat> I don't really sleep in a van. It's more like a U.S. Yeah. Um, let's see here. All right, let's, is there anybody that wants to volunteer to come up on stage with me? So, so what we're going to do, what we're going to do, Ethan, right? Yeah. Okay. What we're going to do is, uh, we're going to do, Mike does not like me. What we're going to do is we're going to do one of the most dangerous magic tricks oh. there is. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, but first I do have to read a warning. Um, 
had it written down somewhere. Um, I, oh, oh, um, <clears throat> warning, the stunts and illusions performed on this show were designed and tested by Chris Angel, uh, Foggy Jack, a highly trained professional. These demonstrations are extremely dangerous and should not be attempted by anyone, anywhere, at any time. Are you ready, mind freak? I mean, Foggy Jack. <clears throat> okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna play a game, all right? Um, Stop whenever. It's just gonna be that simple. Stop. 
stop right there. That's going to be your card. Everybody sees that card? Yes. Hold that card right. Everybody sees that? That's a seven of hearts. That's important. Remember the seven of hearts. Everybody remember the seven of hearts because we're about to perform the greatest magic trick ever. I know that I look pretty young, but I spent about 25 years in Japan mastering the art of ninja. Yes, it's true. And you are going to help me do that. Okay. That. Hold on to that. Don't drop it. Stop it. Okay. What we're going to do. Hey, brother, I'm going to move this up for you, okay?
your birthday. Oh, yes. Yeah. It's going to get awesome. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you a few questions. You're going to answer them in your head. Okay. Don't say them out loud until I ask you to say them out loud because it makes this trick way too easy. So the first question I'm going to ask you is, um, we're gonna, what color? What color are you going to have at your birthday party? Okay? Okay. All right. Think of it in your head. Don't say it out loud. It makes this trick too easy. Okay. For the first time, please tell everyone what color you're going to have at your birthday party. Blue. see here. Um, music. We're going to try what music? What music you're going to play at your birthday party? I almost said funeral. Um, okay. I'll do a different trick with this. Okay. okay. Uh, music. Okay. Got it in your head? Yep. Okay. I think I got it. Okay. Please tell everybody what music is going to play you. Reggae. Reggae. Okay, we'll try one more time. I'm sure I'll get it. Yes. Yes. Uh, wow. Cake. Everybody loves cake. Cake. Okay. Cake. Mm -hmm. cake we're gonna have at your birthday party. Okay. I'm pretty sure I got this. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. What kind of cake are you gonna have at your birthday party? Ice cream cake. Ice cream cake. Yes. Okay, we're going to try something a little different here. <clears throat> this clearly isn't working. Um, what I have are a bunch of tags. 16 cents, 100,000, zero, three million, thirty-five dollars, and question. This is going to be how much money you're getting for your birthday party. Oh, yeah. Maybe Grandma's going to dig deep, deep in her pockets this time. I'm going to write my prediction down of what you're going to pick. And who's going to... Okay, what you're going to do is you're just going to take, you're just going to pull one of those little things up just a little bit more. 100K, 100K. Okay, we're going to, there's 35 million in here. Oh. You're just going to take one of those big tabs, pull it. Oh, boo. 16 cents. Oh. Better than nothing. Better than nothing. Um, it's interesting. What's interesting? That is good. 16 cents. What, what color did you say you were going to have at your birthday party? You said blue. It was going to be at your birthday. What? Blue. And uh, I got that one wrong. Oh, that's okay. That's weird. That one's not there. You said reggae. You're going to play reggae at your, your birthday party. And we're going to do ice cream cake. Just like that. Hey, give a big round of applause for his birthday party. Yes. Thank you, much. Thank you very much. You guys aren't very impressed. Um, let's jump in. You guys know what a fairy is? Yeah, it's from Colvin High School. Um, <laughs> no, you got that, that, That's going to be a majority of the show. Okay, what I need everybody to do is need everybody to reach forward and grab a fairy. Yeah, not like the ones in high school, but like Tinkerbell. Okay, grab Tinkerbell, and then you're reach forward and grab Tinkerbell. And uh, someone needs to throw Tinkerbell on the back. There we go. What we do is we throw Tinkerbell on the back and... Woohoo! Yeah! Alright! Woohoo! Let's do it one more time. Yeah, we're going to throw... We like throwing fairies here. Um, someone throw me another one. Someone throw me... Yep, yeah, throw me a fairy. There we go. We're catching the white off. Now, I'm about to make magic history. I'm about to take this white handkerchief right here. I'm about to actually have a fairy come out of this bag. You guys ready? You guys excited? Yeah. Here we go. You ready? One, two. It's his fault. Um, 
When I start a method show, I like to use my three semesters of community college abuse, and I like to uh, string words together. I like to put words together and make magic out of words, because the English language can be magical. Like the other day, I bought a hedge trimmer. I bought a truck trimmer. We can just call it cutting hedge technology. Or do you guys know what the difference between a hippo and a zippo is? One's really heavy, one's a little lighter. Or, I'm your father and I love you. <clears throat> oh, it, this just got dark. Um, it's funny, it's funny that I bring up my father, um, because actually, the other day my father came to me and he goes, hey, so I saw one of your, one of your magic tricks, one of your videos, online. And I said, oh really? What site did you see that from? And he said, oh, I saw it on YouTube. And I went, well, I'm just not going with him. Um, I like making that joke because I like to see who gets it. <laughs> he said, no, I saw it on Facebook. And I said, okay, cool, that's fine. And he said, I, I really liked your show. It was really unique, really different. Um, but the only thing that I have a problem with is uh, how you act on stage. He is famous for what? What did Harry Houdini do? Magic? What, what kind of magic? Do you know what, what he did? He did escapes. Harry Houdini would travel all around the world and he would escape from anything that he was confined to. Whether it was jail cells, whether it was chairs. Now I know all of you have been very intrigued. Why does the weird guy on stage have a pink backpack? I'm about to answer your question. What we are about to perform with my three volunteers, you're gonna come up just one minute. We're about to perform the 100 foot rope challenge in honor of Harry Houdini himself. You're scared? Oh, don't be. What you're gonna do, I'm gonna explain this before you guys come up because I'm gonna take my mic off here. What you guys are gonna do, you're gonna come up here and you guys are going to tie me to this chair. Ooh, ah. You have as long as you want. You can take 10 minutes, you can take 3 minutes. But the only, the only thing is, is however long you guys take to tie me to this chair, is how long I have to escape. So if it takes you 10 minutes, I get 10 minutes to escape the chair. Sounds right? Sounds good? I do need one more volunteer that can stay that has a, that can do a timer and have a stopwatch. You three are gonna come up here. Come on up here and uh, stand around here. Yeah, that works good. We're gonna turn off the mic. All right, so what you're gonna do, come on up here. Give 100 feet of rope as long as you want. Let's see, uh, that's about, that's about 20 minutes, 20 minutes, sounds good. 20 minutes. 